Good day, good day, my fellow royal fans. Today's juicy news. Prince Harry has been told to decide what he wants amid his new claims of wanting to reconcile with his father and brother, King Charles and Prince William, in a new trailer for an upcoming bombshell interview. The ultimatum for the Duke of Sussex came from royal expert Jenny Bond, after reports suggested that his upcoming book spear will further die, drive a wedge between him and Prince William. Speaking about Prince Harry's book spear, Bond said, I think even that title is very revealing, but I want to know, what is it that Harry wants? Feuds between brothers, between siblings, go back as far as Cain and Abel if you like. There is nothing new about that. So what did Harry want? Did he want the destiny in which William was born? Does he want to be king? I think not, Bond continued. She then added, I think that Harry doesn't like very much about the way the institution of our monarchy works. I don't think he'd like the fact that his wings will be clipped even further like his father's now that he is monarch. I don't think he'd like anything about it. Bond then urged Prince Harry to look back, if you like, to George VI and his brother Edward VIII, who abdicated and handed the chalice to his brother Bertie, his wife, the Queen Mother, was crying when they knew this was to be their destiny. She didn't want him to be king, so what is it that Harry actually wants? The comments came just before Prince Harry, in a snippet from his upcoming interview with ITV's Tom Bradby, said that he would like to have his father back and brother. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been called out for launching an entire civil war. Dr. Gavin Ashenden brought this claim to light in his interview, saying, I'm afraid they have to be very worried. Meghan and Harry have created a kind of existential civil war, and there's no doubt all they're capable of landing severe damage on the royal family, partly because they're fitting in with a certain social mindset, and society is divided into two halves, a reactionary and a progressive half. The progressive half will support them without thinking, and the reactionary half, the conservative half, if I can call it that, has no protection against them. Before concluding, he also said, it would be much better if this civil war wasn't happening, but it is and it will cause damage all round. Meanwhile, King Charles seemed unconcerned and looked in good spirits as he made his first public appearance of the year. The King and his wife Camilla were photographed attending church at Sangenham on New Year's Day. They attended the service at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene to welcome the New Year. It was also the first time Charles attended the New Year's Day service in his capacity as King, after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. This was before King Charles' first public appearance of the year in 2023, days before the release of Harry's memoir Spare, which comes out on January 10th. Thank you guys for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.